All right, so we've got a, a Maytag unit. You know, Amana's the same, and uh, Whirlpool these days is the same, but this is uh, about a 20-year-old unit that I installed over here at my mother-in-law's house. And we've got an issue where we can push the um, the door lock in and uh, and it'll run as long as you hold it in it'll run but when you let it go it stops so we've taken this apart and we've uh, these are torque head screws and we took them apart right here and this literally just pops right off so we, we we've turned the power off today too I'm propping this up here and uh, then this will pop off you just pry it up with a screwdriver and this switch micro the micro switches is what I'm ultimately going to talk about but right in here is where your handle switches come in. The problem that we're facing today is are these micro switch, switches are loose from over time and may even need to be refreshed. And that's what we've decided the, the case was in, in this. And I've taken one screw out because this screw comes off with the cover. And, uh, and what we'll do is um, we're going to temporarily wedge something under these micro switches where they'll make better contact. That's probably what we're going to do today. And, and I'll... I'll come back in a minute and I'll tell you what I decided. But uh, we're also probably going to order some micro switches and just replace these. And, uh, and they'll work like new. So let me show you how these micro switches come out. You see this hook right here? So you want to gently pry that out of the way. But then the micro switch itself, the pressing right there, it can get hung up. So you want to take something and put it under there while you take the hook and extract it. You need about four hands to work on this, so. There, see that little micro switch? This is what actually pushes that button, that right there. And that's what's getting hung, so. Uh, that's how they come out, and then if you wanna look to see what you need to order on eBay, you just want to look at this number and find something that cross matches that. And this one's about worn off, but it looks like four seven seven something or another. Um, the other switch is probably the exact same switch, so I'll try to get a part number off that. All right. To be clear, the micro switches are still working, but they're worn a lot, so that's probably our problem. So what we'll do is we'll look at this part number. It looks like four seven seven. The other one's easier to read. The one I got out four seven seven seven. 5065 and then there's another number down here E9915 and it, it because these are so old you also want to look at the specs because maybe you have to match those up it depends on your model and everything so it says 125 volts AC and also 250 VAC so you'll you'll want to look for this configuration right here that the switch is here and then the, you've got um, your two terminals coming to here. What this is actually doing every time that button pushes in is it's connecting these two wires. So that's just the basics of a switch. If you want to check to see if the micro switches are actually working, you know they just work on an open close, open close, and in this case they're normally open and then when it's latched they're closed and they make a connection. Literally that wire is touching with that wire when that tiny button is being pushed from the latch. So we're going to see if the micro switch even works. So you, you take a multimeter and you turn it to this setting, which is a continuity setting. Continuity means there's a loop that's happened. And I'll show you how that works. So listen, when I connect these two, it's going to beep. All right. So to connect these two with the switch, these two wires have to connect. So I'm going to wedge this in here to where it's touching one and then this is touching the other one the two wires and now I'm going to test the latch with this I'm going to press the latch down mimicking when it closes so my micro switch is good that doesn't mean it's not worn out but the micro switch itself is good now let's check the other one we'll come over here and we'll wedge the contacts in there and we'll do the same thing and that micro switch is good. So both of these micro switches are good. We just don't know if they're they're worn so much. So I'm going to try to wedge something under that so it makes a stronger contact on the top side. I'm going to do the same thing over there, and I'm, that'll probably fix our issue for now. And then I'll look at possibly ordering two more micro switches. 
Yep. So now I've got this back together. I put a wedge underneath the micro switch and I just simply rolled up something I had in my toolbox, a sticker, and uh, just rolled it up like this, end to end. And then uh, if, if you had a shim of plastic or something, that'd work too. But uh, I did this and I stuck it in the gap. And then I took another sticker and I put it on top of it so it wouldn't move. So now I'm gonna show you how to put it back together. Uh, you, this pops right back into place. One screw goes on here. In this case of this model, that screw stays open. This goes back in with that hook right there and the hook over here. So that's easy enough. Every time I say that's easy enough, something holds off. Popped in, popped in. This folds back over. And it lines back up with all the screw holes. This screw stays out, goes all the way through. It's one of the screws that are in the faceplate. Now I'm gonna take this, and you see these wires? I left this in place to where I didn't have to unhook this. Just don't wanna break those when you're taking it apart. Now this goes right back into the shell. Press it back in place where the screws are. And then you wanna find your screws and your torques bit. Last one, and that catches that plastic switch, that piece of metal flange that was in there, and the shell. You don't want to over tighten these, it's always good to set your clutch, but I didn't do that. And now we're back together. Let's see if we can't test this thing and see if it fixed it. The breaker's still off. So the breaker's back on, I'm going to go back to the rinse cycle. And we'll see if it works. There, we fixed your dishwasher for zero dollars. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Swimming in the deep.